Did you know that killer whales aren't actually whales and that you have way more than five senses? Watch on to find out more about everyday things that prove your life is a lie. There's 10 examples in all and they'll certainly open your eyes. Amazing! Number 10. The red panda isn't a panda. The advertising standards agency should really investigate this one. How dare red pandas attempt to cash in on the popularity of real pandas by adopting their name? In fairness, red pandas have a pretty good defense. They got their name first. Red pandas, which look a bit like chubby foxes with bear paws, live in the Himalayas and have a closer genealogical association with weasels, raccoons and skunks than pandas. Their name is said to derive from the Nepalese word ponya, a reference to the unusual shape of their feet, and was assigned to them in the 1800s. Since what we think of as real pandas didn't get their name until the 20th century, perhaps the red panda should consider suing their better known rivals for copyright infringement. Number 9. Killer whales aren't whales. Another animal prepared to falsify its name is the killer whale, twice. Apparently not content with pretending to be a whale, orcas have also been referred to as blackfish. Newsflash, the killer whale is neither a whale nor a fish. It is a dolphin. The name originates from a simple case of language confusion. Back in the day, Spanish sailors noticed that orcas fed on other whales and named them whale killers. Invert the name and there you have it killer whales. It does, however, stand to reason that killer whales are dolphins. Dolphins are known as intelligent and social animals, and despite their killer instincts, orcas are notably cooperative. One of the few marine mammals to hunt in packs, orcas employ ingenious tactics like herding prey into preset traps and smashing ice flows to cause seals and on occasion humans to fall into the sea. And we thought dolphins were all friendly and smiley. Number 8. Humans do have a sixth sense. In fact, they may have 21. This one's a real eye-opener, or is it? You already know that humans can see through their eyes and use touch, smell, hearing and taste to interact with the world. But did you know about our other senses? Judging by the popularity of the term sixth sense and the fact that it's usually used to refer to supernatural powers, most people don't. Scientists, however, are increasingly insistent that not only do humans have a sixth sense, we have way more senses than that, anything up to 21. Having made the rational assumption that any part of the body that acts as a sensor should be said to be a sense, they include inner ear receptors that sense balance and orientation, as well as skin sensors that can detect heat, cold, pressure, and itches, plus one called equilibrioception. That word is so hard to say. You can see why the theory of many senses has struggled to replace ancient Greek philosopher Aristotle's simpler formation of the five senses. Sometimes the truth is just too complicated. Number seven, a karate black belt doesn't make you an expert. It makes you competent. Should we blame the movies for this one? In childhood, the idea of a black belt in the martial arts, like karate, was synonymous with seriously scary martial arts skills. Someone who'd wipe the floor with you as effortlessly as Mr. Miyagi from Karate Kid. Believe it or not though, the origins of the black belt lie in judo rather than karate, where rather than signifying ultimate mastery, the black belt merely affirms competence in a discipline's basic techniques. That's a bit of a come down, isn't it? From ultimate master to competent beginner in one fell swoop, Karate websites admit that there's a bit of confusion surrounding the black belt. It's generally agreed that black belts do separate martial artists from the rabble, i.e. you in your bedroom trying to perform high kicks from Avengers movies. But that true master of the discipline can only be crowned after they receive a third degree black belt and develop their skills further. Number 6. Christopher Columbus didn't discover America Christopher Columbus is an unusual historical figure. You'd think we'd have taken the time to discover quite a bit about the life of one of the most famous discoverers, but several giant myths still surround Columbus. For one thing, he wasn't Italian. Okay, he was born in Genoa, but since Italy wasn't unified until the mid 19th century, three centuries after Columbus was kicking about, he can hardly be considered a passionate Italian and indeed claimed the lands he discovered from Spain. Hence the second giant Columbus myth, he discovered the territory of the United States of America. It may surprise you to know that, despite the widespread celebration of Columbus Day in the States, Columbus never actually set foot on any of the territory that currently makes up the US. Rather, Columbus landed on islands such as the Bahamas and Haiti and behaved so brutally to the islanders he found there, threatening to chop off their heads if they didn't bring him gold, that we should really reconsider celebrating him at all. Number 5. A duck's quack 
actually does echo. The myth is so well known that Sky Television named a game show hosted by Lee Mack after it. The show is called Ducks Quacks Don't Echo. We can conclusively reveal, however, that Ducks Quacks, like every other sound in the world, do echo. It's unclear precisely how this myth arose and became so popular, which is a shame. It would be interesting to know who had so much time on their hands. They went out one day, heard a duck quack, and had the revolutionary thought, wait, that quack didn't echo. The mistake is understandable though. To the unassisted ear, the echo of duck quacks simply aren't as obvious as other types of echo. The TV show Mythbusters brought in an audio expert to conduct tests, and they said that the echo was swallowed by the original quack, due to the very similar acoustic structure between the quack and the echo. Because of this, it may be difficult to tell where the quack ends and the echo begins. Number four, Santa Claus doesn't wear red as a tribute to Coca-Cola. It's a tribute to the power of Coca-Cola's advertising that people, including myself, were willing to believe a figure that has played such a significant role in Western culture for centuries took his image from a soft drinks company. In fact, Santa was wearing red in the 1800s, and the modern depiction of him as a jolly old man with a white beard is usually attributed to the work of cartoonist Thomas Nast in the 1870s. Coca-Cola began using Santa in their ads in the 1930s, and no doubt helped promote and popularize the red and white image further. But Santa does not have an exclusivity deal with the soft drink giant. He may even prefer Pepsi. Number three, you can't see the Great Wall of China from space. Most of us have never been to space, so if people tell us that the Great Wall of China is the only man-made structure on Earth you can see from there, why wouldn't we believe them? Well, what if the people making the claims hadn't been to space either? In a 1904 book on the Far East, Henry Norman noted that the Great Wall of China enjoys the reputation of being the only work of human hands on the globe visible from the moon. What Norman or anyone else making this claim based it on half a century before a human made it to space is unclear, but the idea has stuck. Also, when we ask astronauts like Chris Hadfield about the matter, they say things like, the Great Wall of China is not visible from orbit with the naked eye. It's too narrow and it follows the natural contours and colors of the landscape. Chinese astronauts such as Yang Liwei concur. You cannot see the Great Wall of China with the naked eye while orbiting the Earth. Number two, goldfish don't have three second memories. They have five month memories. How many times at school did you hear your teacher claim you had the memory of a goldfish? They were so wrong, if you had a time machine that was invented tomorrow, you wouldn't be going back to have a look at the dinosaurs or Pompeii before the eruption. You'd be going back to Miss Nichols' science class to say, why thank you. I pride myself on being able to remember dull facts for five months. Assumptions that goldfish can only hold things in memory for three seconds have been reinforced by humorous portrayals of forgetful fish like Dory in Finding Nemo. But scientists recently discovered that goldfish were able to associate a certain sound with feeding time, and that even after being released back into the wild, away from the sound, still responded to it five months later. The scientists were so impressed with the mental performance of the goldfish, they went so far as to claim they might be more intelligent than trout. High praise indeed. Number one. Vikings didn't wear horns on their helmets. Everyone knows what a Viking looks like. The image of a big bearded Scandinavian charging through the surf with horned helmets has become synonymous with our idea of the raiding seafarers. But get this, Viking helmets did not have horns on them. At least, none of the many Viking helmets dug up by archaeologists so far have. There is evidence that Northern Europeans used to wear horns on their helmets for specific ceremonies, something recorded by a number of Roman scholars, but most experts believe even this tradition may have died out by the days of the Vikings. So how did the myth arise? Richard Wagner, the famous German composer, may have had something to do with it. One of his operas featured Vikings, and his costume designers, probably using outdated Roman sources for their research, decided to go with horns on the helmets. That's how easily a myth can grow. Since no one in Wagner's day had ever seen a Viking, no one knew he was so wrong, and the image of the horned Viking helmets was reproduced until it became the norm. Please, Richard, do your research. So there you have it. 10 more myths dispelled, and 10 more pieces of knowledge to impress your friends with. Let me know which one you found the most interesting, down in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe and click that bell icon to stay updated. Thanks for watching.